Hello, 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 my beautiful and my wonderful people. God bless you for coming here today. If God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. We are coming as strong daily to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a quick word for somebody today. Allow your kingdom spouse. Allow your kingdom spouse. Your kingdom spouse holds you. Your kingdom spouse holds that body. Both of you come together. You become one. God says, don't deny yourself of anything except fasting and prayer. Let your kingdom pass hold you. Not because your husband did not give you money or your husband did not give you those things you want. You deny him of his right. You deny him of everything. You start uh, um, like maybe telling him, you have to do this before you give me this. You have to do this before you give me this. That is not so. Allow your kingdom pass. Allow your kingdom pass. If anything is strong with you or you are passing through pain or you are passing through emotional wreck or you are sick or anything is happening to you or you have uh, uh, your, your, your monthly uh, circle, allow your kingdom spouse to know and don't make your kingdom spouse to always be tense and don't allow your kingdom spouse to be pressure. Don't allow your kingdom spouse to be pressure. Any situation you know that both of you are passing through, you have to come together and solve it because both of you are one. Because you are looking yourself as a separate person, that's why you are not allowing your spouse. Allow your spouse to be free to you because it's you. It's you. The moment you know that, that your kingdom spouse is you, everything will be good and everything will be peaceful. The word of God says two will leave his parents and they will become one. Now both of you are not you. Don't let your family come between both of you. Don't let job come between both of you. If your kingdom's past is asking you, how do you spend this money? Why is this money not in this account? Doesn't mean that you are a slave. No, he just wants to know. Let him be in charge. Allow him as a man to be in charge. When you are receiving your salary or your husband is receiving a, a salary, when you take it separate, you have not really accept that home to be one. And it will be very difficult for God's blessing to flow there. But when you accept both of you as one, your kingdom those spouse has the right to know when you are building house don't build it private when you are doing anything don't do it private allow your kingdom spouse to know when you allow your kingdom spouse to know everything you are doing you will see the blessing will be coming you will see the blessing will be flowing the devil will never see where to come in a lot of divorce are happening today because why both of you are living like a stranger in the home allow the man to lead the woman want to lead because you are having uh, your, your salary is greater than the man is not supposed to be so and it can never be so because the word of god says the man is the head of the woman is your head you are the head mate you are not a slave you are not anything like a, a bully to to him but let him lead as the man. And the man, you should not lead your wife as if your wife is a slave or your wife is a tart. Your wife is your helpmate. Where you are getting, where you are weak, is she's strong. When you are going, you are not be able to move. He push you from the back. He help you from the back. He support you from the back. That is who both of you is. You are one. Allow your kingdom spouse to lead. And as you do so, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Bring down your pride. Bring down your ego. No matter how much you are receiving, is the head over you. Is the head over you. If your kingdom spouse is helping you because he wants to help you, it's not his right, it's your right. But it's good for him to help you. But don't take it now that you must do it equally. You must allow him to lead. When he talks to you, it's okay. Let it be okay. Respect your husband when you respect him. Other people will respect him too. Allow him to lead. And may God bless you all richly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before we meet again, Shalom. I pray for marriage that is getting, that is trying to get divorced, that is having problems. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. Before we meet again, Shalom. God bless you.